Good day everyone and welcome. We are here to discover and know more about one of the well-known companies in the Philippines that have successfully made its name in the market. Brace yourselves and be ready to listen. Through the years, many companies have emerged and have continuously progressed in the world of the business industry. One of these companies is the Del Monte Pacific Limited an investment holding and a global branded food and beverage company that offers premium quality and healthy products. With its famous line, Nourishing Families, Enriching Lives Every Day, Del Monte Pacific Limited envisions nourishing families by providing delicious food and beverages that make eating healthfully effortless anytime and anywhere and also to build brands with quality products that are perfectly wholesome and thoughtfully prepared. Del Monte Pacific Limited has six core values. These are championing together, healthy families, ownership with integrity, innovation, commitment to society and environment, and excellence in everything they do. Del Monte succeeds speeds because they see themselves as one team. They choose to grow healthy families and choose to embody ownership with integrity. They also choose to innovate, to constantly rethink, explore, and create to produce only the fresh groundbreaking and pioneering engineering ideas for their products and processes. They also choose to make a commitment to society and the environment and also choose to be excellent in everything they do. No matter how large or small a task is, they understand the value of executing each one effectively and efficiently because they believe in doing the right things and doing the right way. Del Monte Pacific Limited is a global branded food and beverage company. It caters to the consumer's needs for premium quality healthy products. They also innovate, produce, market, and distributes their products worldwide. The financial instruments of the Del Monte Pacific Limited are traded in the capital market. They are trading here in the Philippines through the Philippine Stocks Exchange and abroad through the Singapore Exchange. The photo in your screen shows the share price of the Singapore and Philippine Stocks Exchange. Del Monte started in 1886 in Walnut Creek, California. In 1926, Del Monte United States decided to set operations in the Philippines. Del Monte U.S. was acquired by R.J. Reynolds in 1979 and called it Del Monte Corporation. It was later reacquired by Colby Kravis Roberts in 2011. In 2013, DMPL list in the Philippine Stocks Exchange and in the succeeding year, DMPL bought the consumer food business of DMC. Today, Del Monte sustains the quality promise for a new generation of consumers. They became popular because of their high quality products. Now we're going to talk about the corporate social responsibility. Del Monte Pacific Limited aligned their sustainability pillar to 17 sustainable development goals of the United Nations. First is no poverty. Del Monte Pacific Limited aims to provide employment to people in local communities. With this, 24,000 employees and service providers contribute to companies' operations, and about 500 individuals were uplifted from poverty through Del Monte Foundation's participation in Zero Extreme Poverty 2030 movement. Next is Zero Hunger. The objective is to improve food production through sustainable agriculture and nutrition through product portfolio. Del Monte Pacific Limited donated $2.3 million to the American Conscious Alliance, Convoy of Hope, and other food banks. They likewise donated various food products to over 200,000 individuals in indigent communities and frontline workers in over 50 medical facilities during the pandemic. The third one is good health and well-being. The goal is to offer quality food and beverage products that promote health and wellness across demographic segments. In partnership with Going Great, the company reached out to more than 5 million children, focusing on healthy eating and growing vegetables. Moreover, the foundation serves around 23,800 patients through its medical missions. 
Next is quality education. The goal is to provide communities with access to proper education and skills training. Del Monte Pacific Limited granted scholarships in various schools to around 261 high school and college students. The foundation likewise provided preschool learning aids and materials to 19 schools. Next is gender equality. The objective is to promote a diverse workforce of women and men and equitable livelihood opportunities. Belmonte Pacific Limited's workforce has a ratio of 63% men and 37% women, and about 40% of management are women. Then we have clean water and sanitation. Del Monte Pacific Limited aims to improve water consumption efficiency, provide clean drinking water, and adequate sewage disposal. With this, 225 sanitary toilets were built by the foundation for families residing near the plantation in the Philippines. They likewise installed 25 water system, which helps around 154 households. Next, in terms of affordable and clean energy, Del Monte invests in renewable energy and optimizes efficiency across energy sources. The U.S. Hanford facility has 6,400 solar panels which generates 1.2 megawatts of electricity. Renewable energy generated 2.8 megawatts of electricity and supplied 78% of both countries' power requirement. Next, in terms of decent work and economic growth, Del Monte provides communities with sustainable livelihood opportunities and decent work environment. They funded 81 graduates from two TESDA certified training disciplines and 50 members of indigenous group underwent training in beds making and mats weaving as part of the foundation's livelihood project. Next, in terms of industry, innovation, and infrastructure, Monte promotes innovation, leverage technology to improve production efficiency and infrastructure. Their pineapple juice contains functional benefits to strengthen immunity promote detoxification, and lower bad cholesterol. Next, in terms of reduce inequalities, Del Monte comply with labor laws and promote equal opportunity for men and women. They donated $185,000 to the National Black Farmers Association, Asian American Pacific Islanders, Anti-Racism and Intersectional Justice Fund, and other regional racial justice charities. They also have a standard against discrimination that promotes a culture of equality in their workplace. Next, in terms of sustainable cities and communities, Del Monte provide communities with a sustainable living environment. They have 22,000 farm and production workers and service providers work only in Del Monte, Philippines. Next, in terms of responsible consumption and production, Del Monte reduce and manage waste in production promote clean emissions and influence. They reduced about 3,000 metric tons of materials, which amounted to $2.7 million savings in the last 10 years. With regards to climate action, the Monte Pacific Limited implements climate change risk mitigation and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. They had about 490,382 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent net carbon sequestration making Del Monte Philippines Incorporated carbon negative. Del Monte Philippines Incorporated also planted around 60,000 indigenous and commercial trees that contributed about 7,100 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent in fiscal year 2021. In terms of life below water, Monte Pacific Limited conserve marine life by treating waste that goes to waterways. They have cleansed Bugo Facility Water Discharge at Makahalar Bay that has biochemical oxygen demand levels better than government mandated, which is 100 mg per liter. The water usage ratio of Del Monte Philippines Incorporated Bottling Plant is also 9.72 liters within its 5-year goal. Another corporate social responsibility of the Monte Pacific Limited is life on land. They protect biodiversity through sustainable agricultural practices and promote environmental stewardship of natural resources. The Monte Philippines Incorporated, the foundation and their cooperative partner, Dear BC, planted around 610,000 indigenous and commercial trees in different areas of the plantation in Bukidlon. Another is peace, justice, and strong institutions. 
The Monte Pacific Limited uphold good governance in the company and promote industrial peace. Their human rights policy is aligned with UN guiding principles on business and human rights, International Bill of Human Rights, and International Labor Organization. The Monte Pacific Limited also ranked 15th among 577 Singapore-listed companies in the SG Governance and Transparency Index in August 2020. The Monte also respects the right of employees who are members of unions through collective bargaining agreements to maintain industrial peace. And last but not the least is the Partnerships for the Goals. The Monte Pacific Limited pursue global partnerships for sustainable development. The Monte Philippines Incorporated partnered with over 400 organizations to alleviate hunger during the pandemic. The Monte Foods Incorporated is also a mission partner of Feeding America. Here are the board of directors of Del Monte. The executive chairman, Orlando C. Gapod, Managing Director, Silito D. Campos, Jr. Executive Director, Edgardo M. Cruz, Jr. The Lead Independent Director, Benedict Quek Gim Song. The Independent Directors are Yvonne Go, Dr. Emil Javier, and Godfrey Scotchbrook. We also have here the officers. The Managing Director and CEO is Joselito D. Campos, Jr. The Chief Operating Officer is Luis F. Alejandro, Chief Financial Officer Parag Sakdeva, Chief Corporate Officer is Ignacio Carmelo O. Saison, the Chief Human Resources Officer is Ruiz G. Salazar, Chief Legal Counsel and Chief Compliance Officer, and Company Secretary is Antonio Eugenio S. Yungson, and the Chief Scientific Officer is Maria Bella B. Javier. That's it for our presentation. Thank you for listening.